One city along the south coast is seeing a path to a solid recovery. News Channel 3 senior reporter John Palminteri joins us live in Carpinteria. And John, this is something that other cities can definitely learn from. Planning for the economic challenges for any kind of financial impact and fallout has been part of the Carpinteria plan for years. And many cities are that way as well with their financial planning. So when the crisis did hit, they had some funds in their reserves and a roadmap. Carpinteria's State of the City report may be an indication of what other regional areas are going through during the pandemic. It has a roadmap that has softened the impact. The mayor says encouraging local residents to shop and eat locally as much as possible created a stimulus well before any other plan. For every dollar spent within the community, that dollar would stay in that community for six or seven times before it was cycled out of that economy. It was followed by an infusion of government help. And that made $130,000 that we gave out to local communities, uh, businesses for their efforts in opening back up again. Even when big crowds were coming on hot days, the city was not unwelcoming. Instead, it put up signs about masks and safety so everyone was comfortable. With that, businesses were stimulated by the foot traffic. This was to make sure that the community people or people that came in from outside of the community were welcomed in. We did not want to make Carpinteria look and feel like a ghost town. Carpinteria schools pivoted quickly when kids were told to stay home and zoom in technically for their classes. In a fast planned outreach, the school district responded with its funds and community donations. By purchasing a thousand computers to distribute to students, a hundred hotspots for internet connectivity, and by providing 600 daily drive-by sack lunches. In the next year, the local library will be funded entirely by the city and not as part of an area library network. Financially, the city's been using reserves and government aid to handle the approximately $3 million deficit it's in. In my 22 years with the city, I think this is the, only the third time that we've had deficit spending. It's hoped the sluggish tourism market will rebound soon. And with that, hotel tax dollars will shoot back up. The report did show other good indicators. The stock market sets a record every day. Housing is amazing. And I think we just saw that the county of Santa Barbara is going to turn out to have a $5 million budget surplus that they didn't know they were going to have once they predicted it. Cannabis is up $3.4 million more than people thought was going to happen. Carpinteria officials say the decisions they made before the pandemic when it came to their finances and some prudent decisions during the coronavirus crisis. The one we're in right now is going to help them with a faster recovery. Reporting live in downtown Carpinteria this evening, I'm John Palminteri, News Channel 3. All right, all very interesting aspects. Thank you so much for that update, John. Real important. Spring break season.